Some more Model 3s are showing up. And there's three in the room, the showroom for delivery. This one's looking pretty good. Still have the plastic on the handles and everything else. Got a special sighting today. I realize this is strictly Tesla, but this is my first official Bolt EV sighting. I have never seen one of these in person. I've already spotted about a dozen Model 3s here in Atlanta. Yep, a lot of EVs. The movement is growing. Show you. I mean, this whole row. And here's one of those Chrysler EVs. Now, I've seen these driving around, but I've never seen one plugged up. So, the EV minivan, I don't think it has very good range. Anyway, let's get back to the focus here. The Bolt EV. I believe it has a range of. Is it 235 miles, I believe, if I'm correct? Um, let's circle it and see how it looks. I mean, this thing is tiny. Think, think Honda Fit. It's literally the same size as a Honda Fit. I can get a shot of the rear here and be mindful to block out the plate later. Let's see. There we go. Cute little vehicle, especially for the price and the range that it gets. Can't argue with it. Actually, I am going to go ahead and argue with it. Here's the deal. Until the rest of the EV automakers find a way to build out an infrastructure that is identical or comparable to what Tesla's doing, they're just not gonna be relevant. I mean, that's just the bottom line. I mean, it's just without that infrastructure to charge your vehicle, you are pretty much lost because you can charge at home all you like, but when you really go out into the wild, you need a fast and reliable charging network to back up your vehicle. Just like all of these gasoline cars, they have a plethora of gasoline stations to fuel up. Well, EVs really don't have that. They, well, it's growing. As I've mentioned before, it's growing and you're seeing more of it. But the problem with it is you're not seeing enough fast charging. You know, you're not seeing a bunch of Chatamo adapters or, I mean, charging stations around. You're seeing Blink and ChargePoint and all these other level two charging stations that really aren't all that fast. I mean, you know, 20 miles of range per hour is just not enough. 50 miles of range per hour is just okay. We need to get to 200 miles of range in five minutes. I mean, that's, that's what we need to see. We need to get 200 miles of range in five minutes. And I think that that's achievable. We just need to get to that point. We need to get there as quickly as possible. So here's our DC fast charging. Let's see if I can get these out. It will not, un oh, there it goes. So there's the ports there. Oh, yeah, there we go. And you, here's your Chatamo. 
So if I had the Chatamo adapter for my Tesla, I could plug up here. Of course, that would be in the case of an emergency. Anyway, my point here is here are your two DC fast chargers for this location at Atlantic Station. That's it. So let me show you where I was yesterday just to give you an idea of what the rest of the EV people are dealing with. If I can find it quickly. Oh, no, I'm just doing some filming. You doing know what? Filming. Okay, do you realize that Atlantic State is private property, right? You can't do any filming unless it's clear by the manager. Okay. So, whatever you're doing, you're going to have to get it approved by them. Until then, you can't do any type of filming on this property. Okay. Alright? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, right. So, when you're dealing with idiots like that, and I will post this film, <laughs> but yeah you, you just have to sometimes you just have to tell someone okay and just let it go it's kind of a it's like two sides to the force it's kind of like hey you know what these are not the droids you're looking for so basically people here are just plugging into the wall they show up with their cables that are already supplied to their vehicles and they plug up here and you know, while they're at work, it's not such a big deal. They can leave it here for eight hours or however long, and then when they come back, and you know what? Some of these people, they may not even work here. It may just be residents because there, there's living spaces here as well. So they plug up, they come back here, and their car is fully charged and ready to go for them to do their tasks throughout the day. The reason I'm here is because I'm trying to use this as an example. You can find Quick Trips anywhere, and with Quick Trip, you can go in, sit down, eat, have a drink, whatever you need to do, and fill up, and five minutes later, you are gone. Well, that is not the case with most EV charging, unless you go to a Tesla. And then, of course, you have this option here. This is the majority of what you're seeing at all of the shopping centers and everything like that. You're not seeing Tesla superchargers. You're not seeing high or fast DC charging or anything like that. You're just not seeing it. And until we have that, then all of these other vehicles that are being built right now, like the Chevrolet Bolt, for example, which led me to this whole thing, uh, they don't have the infrastructure. Only Tesla has the infrastructure. That is the the thing and I want to see these other companies do that don't get me wrong I'm not trying to sit here and say oh only Tesla has it and no one else should have it that's that's not the point here and that's not what anyone at Tesla that's not what Elon Musk is saying so until they build that infrastructure out well what infrastructure really but until they until they find a way to make EV charging much 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 faster for everyone for Tesla included having a car with that type of range is not going to get you far consider this ask yourself this real quick what if we could only fill up gasoline cars at home what if gas stations were few and far between and when you did go to fuel up it would take you literally hours to get that range in fuel back into your vehicle then what would you think? And that's the problem that EVs are facing right now. I mean, that's.